Coach, it seems like Jones in the midst of a real struggle. Is there any thought to potentially bring him off the bench, get him going up with the second unit, or how's that going? I don't know. No, we have not thought about that. Uh, my man got some pretty early run tonight, provided a bit of a spark. Um, what led to those early minutes, and what did you see out of him in those minutes? Well, we wanted to look at some different combinations, uh, different guys, uh, some of the starters, and um, we, we liked the unit he was going to be in with. We knew their rotation and like the guys, you know, we wanted another defender out there uh, when Halliburton's in. So, you know, just taking a look at some different lineups and uh, did look good. The uh, second unit looked really good. Coach, what do you think some of the issues with three point defense? Our three point defense tonight? Yes. It's the same thing that hurt us against Atlanta and San Antonio and or any other team that slips screens. Uh, we don't communicate, stay, we don't stay lock, locked in with our guy. Obviously, if you don't get hit with the screen, you're not switching. And so that could, that non-communication and them slipping out led to wide open threes from there with scrambling and they're a good team, obviously, moving the ball and they spread it out with shooters. Obviously, five is, you know, a, a very low number, much fewer than usual. But in general, do you feel like you need to get more threes out of this offense than yeah. you've been getting? Absolutely. I think you like to be around the 40 ish, 40 mark. Um, you know, we're in, I think we're in the mid 30s or whatever. We'd like to get probably six more at least. Um, pass up a few tonight, and then um, sometimes the game presents that to you. They're one of the better teams at getting people off the three point line and funneling them into the, uh, their bigs down there, especially Turner. And so, um, well, we did have some open looks, obviously, and uh, wide open looks that we missed. And, you know, this is a a shock, shocking at the point, the way we played in the third quarter and the amount of threes they hit that we were still in the game at that point. To take the lead, 117-115, just under two minutes to go, and then go scoreless the rest of the way, just how did you feel about the offensive execution over those final two minutes? It was okay. I think we, um, when we went to help in the post, um, he has to bait a little bit more, be more aggressive there, um, knowing they're going to come after him. And, um, we've got to kick out three to, to Jabari. Not a lot of movement off of that. We wanted to slash somebody in get the rotations that we got the other three, uh, I think to Aaron out of it, but just got to be more aggressive initially, knowing they're going to come after him and, and just bait it instead of hold it there and get a little bit more movement. So um, what worked well for us last game, going into him in New Orleans, like I said, they came after him a little more aggressive uh, and we didn't like our rotation behind it. They just stunned and stayed in one place and pretty much got a contested three out of it. On those Halliburton three specifically with him, did you think your guys were out up far enough on him, and then on that last possession, why the decision to double him on that? Yeah, yeah. The, the three he got, um, I think Jabari, we'd like him to be a little more aggressive on that switch. Um, one, the play, prior play, Alperin jumped up, and you know we didn't want him switching out there, and they got the, the pass down the lane to Turner. I think Jabari's a little flat on the other one. We want to be more aggressive with that red there, the three he hit, and then went after him there to try to speed them up and um, get them to shoot earlier on the shot clock. and. Our rotations behind him, we got driven. Um, you know, if we get out, of, get it out of his hands at that point. Um, I think it was uh, Jay Sean got driven by uh, Nemhart there. You know, it's kind of what we want to do: make somebody else beat us, and uh, they, they made us pay. You surprised the first two issues with communication defensively at times, as good as it seemed been defensively. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's. I don't think it's basic. Um, you know, switching and some things that certain teams do, but but obviously the teams that slip out a lot have hurt us this year. And so, yeah, that's something we've gone over, talked about, knew they were very similar to Atlanta in the fact that they switch or slip out every day. They probably set screens 10% of the time. So, um, you know, if you don't get hit by a screen, you don't switch it. And so we worked on that, talked about it, and it, to your point, it still hurt us. So that is a little surprising because uh, I think other than San Antonio, it's, it might've been Denver, somebody else hurt us with that earlier this year. And we gotta um, obviously be better in that regard. Any update on Dylan, by the way? No. I'm good. With uh, Jalen, do you think it's more about him not being aggressive enough or not recognizing what defenses um, uh, are playing against him, or is it just that he's you know, shooting slump that every player goes through? I would say the uh, not the latter, not really the shooting slump. I don't, I don't know if he's getting the best looks, uh, but second guessing, for sure you can see that. Um, you want to be aggressive initially, but you have to be able to do both. And I think it's time he's struggling to read what they're doing, and, you know, pass up some looks. And, you know, for some others, and so um, just kind of continue to improve in that area. Uh, read the game and, and take what it gives you. You know, at times, you know, if, if, if you have the open shot, the first look you get is a, that's a lot of times the best one. And so um, there's something to grow into and get better at, but um, teams are putting one of their better defenders on him and paying attention to him. And, and obviously with him playing that way, 
if he was playing the other way, we obviously wouldn't struggle as much offensively and have to lean on other guys as much or play other guys' minutes. So uh, continue to keep him confident, continue to you know improve in certain areas, and he'll take a step eventually.